but we're going to kind of bring it down a little bit and talk about our friend Dick Fletcher who recently passed away and, and joining us is Walt Belcher. Thank you for coming here and, and I know you knew him well. So I'd like, we'd love to hear some of your stories about Dick Fletcher. Yeah, well, I, it's, it's kind of sad when, when someone you know yeah, passes you're away. very and, good and friends this, with. In this market, we've had a, a number of people who've been here a long time, and after 30 years, you feel like you know them, you see them come into your family. living room. Yeah. They're like family. They're like family. Sure it is. Dick was a real dedicated guy. I, th I think the thing that impressed me about him was that he was, he was always wanting to be there. Whenever something happened, as far as severe weather was concerned, he wanted to be there and be there all the time, and, and, and he felt like people out in the community were depending on him to give them information about approaching storms and things like that. And uh, he was really, really fascinated by weather and the science of weather. He was actually on his own studying the climatology of the Tampa Bay area and the shoreline. He felt like that the, uh, the water was rising, that the shoreline was shrinking. He, I don't know if he believed in global warming, but he did believe that something was going on, and he was personally studying it uh, on his own, so I thought I, I was impressed by it that. Wasn't, it wasn't his job, and it wasn't necessarily getting up every morning and going to his job that motivated him. It was being part of the community and delivering a message right. that people relied on him for, and he didn't let us down. That's right, and, and there's a good thing about Dick, too, is I talked to him after he had his first stroke, and, and he back got, in 2003, yeah, wasn't it? And he, and he came back from that, and, he, and it kind of was an eye opener for him, and, and it, it shocked him that he that he had. I guess he, he but he tried, but he he, he tried. changed his life around. He was on the marathons and, mm -hmm. and things in the last couple of years. Yeah, and but he's. I think he still smoke a little. Smoking is hard to give up. I think he's still cheated on that a little bit, but he he was he was trying to take care of himself. But I think that. Sometimes your, your body chemistry, what, 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 what's happening inside, you, you have a proclivity to certain things. Tell us um, one of your best memories of Dick. One of my best memories of Dick was when they, one of the hurricanes came. Well, and Port Channel 10 is in, an, in a flood Elena, zone. Elena, wasn't it? Was yeah. it Hurricane right. Elena? Well, Elena was 85 in Elena. Sure. He was just on the air all the time, all the time. And they had to evacuate the station. And Dick had to give up his his throne recording, yeah to, to try because they couldn't go on and when when charlie came same thing happened and uh dick that time managed to set up shop in another place and he had a laptop computer and he was doing things with a pencil and drawing it still you know not the not the graphics that the other stations had but he was still trying to to do that for the people who would be watching and that that's that was a heroic effort because all the equipment was gone yeah, that's and fantastic. he was trying to fill that time so. and, give, and give messages to the people out there that are relying on him yeah. what, what kind of legacy do you think Dick will, Dick will leave behind yeah and he, what kind of legacy do you think he'll be leaving behind I think the people will remember him for, for what he, it, how it? much he cared about the, the, the Tampa Bay area and, and what, he, what he did and, and having that longevity I don't know that in the future we will have uh, people in this market who've done what we've had so far in some of our stations. I think that this is a, this, we've been lucky that we've had so many people at so many stations. It was almost a who's who at his funeral. I mean, did, did yeah. you attend the funeral? And, and yeah, on Saturday, yeah, the memorial service. It was quite a touching event to have all those Did you just call his funeral who's who? Well, he, you know, the, everybody in, I, uh, in the media really was did. there. No, the, yeah, I did. I didn't mean it like that. I think, but, uh, I think oh Dick God. would... He all, was friends with everybody. Yeah. Well, I think he would like for us to remember the happy times yeah. and the fun times and not get sort of morose about him because and feel, and feel bad about it. I think he would have preferred that we uh, celebrate. Celebrate, of course. Well, yeah. That is so well, we do fun. celebrate it, and we celebrate what he's given to the community and, and what will continue to remain his legacy in Tampa Bay. Yeah, I think so. And, 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 uh, and uh, they, 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 like I say, it'll be hard to replace him there at that station. I don't know that they'll have another person to do it that, that long at that station. So. You know what we're going to do? Why don't we do this? Why don't we take 10 seconds, a moment of silence mm. for Dick Fletcher, and then we'll just go out on that. Thank you so much.